After spending a day in a Terengary National Park, it was now time to check into the Sangui Lodge for the night. The luxury tents are my favorite way to spend a night on safari. You really feel spoiled with your own bathroom. And just look at that view from our porch overlooking the park. Once unpacked, I always like to check out the swimming pool. And after looking over the rules, it was time to jump into the water and make sure no crocodiles or hippos were around. The only wildlife I saw was this lizard checking out my swimming skills. Excited in the moment, I forgot that you can't hear what I'm saying with the underwater case on the GoPro. I was also excited as in this rare moment, I convinced the Puddin not to rest, but to come with me into the pool. After telling her the water was crock free, she was all set to get in. But I did forget to mention to her that the water was freezing. To cheer her up, I played a game called Hippo and continued to stalk and attack her for the next 15 minutes. Needless to say, she wanted out of the pool. So I followed her to enjoy the sunset. And before I knew it, it was almost sun up time and I was grabbing a quick snack before heading out on a morning safari drive. I love driving in the early morning. As many times you can still catch the predators that were out all night. Like this little jackal here. Researchers feel this canine carnivore has lived in East Africa for the past two to three million years. I for sure hope all African wildlife like this is around for millions more. So as we left this member of the Canidae family, we moved over to one in the Equid family, the zebra, Puddin's favorite. No two zebras are striped the same, which is proved by simply looking at these two as they cross right in front of our jeep. Speaking about the Puddin, her safari eyes were now in full effect as she noticed a member of my favorite family, the feline family. This large male lion was waking up from one sleeping spot on the road just to move a few feet to find another sleeping spot just off the road. Since no other animals were around, and also since lions are awesome, we decided to sit here for a while with this sleeping lion. With his stomach is full of that, he must have had a nice successful hunt in the night and is now resting it all off. In a pride, the female usually gets the credit for hunting, but males also have to have some strong hunting skills. A male could be alone like this for several reasons, including he could have been just recently kicked out of a pride by his mother and is now on the run looking to establish his own territory. Or, most likely, he could have his own pride already, but be away from the other members while he's patrolling his territory. Protecting your range is a very important aspect of lion life. After getting a few lion photos from the Jeep, the safe way to take photos with African wildlife, it was time to hit the road again. After driving around, we found this endangered gray crowned crane. These beautiful birds can stand over three feet tall. Soon after leaving that beautiful bird, we rolled up on a large bird of prey, the tawny eagle. And after glancing at these water buck, it was time to meet an animal that you'll never want to come across while walking around, and that is the Cape Buffalo. But we won't be walking around the bush anytime soon. And as we drive on to continue the safari, I want to ask you to be sure to subscribe and like and share the video. And as always, thanks for watching.